community. Good morning. It's a very rough day for me today. It's been one year since my daddy passed away. And uh, it's kind of a rough day for me. But I wanted to make sure I got on here to say good morning to everybody. And, and you're feeling better, except it's not a good day. Physically, I'm feeling better. Emotionally, I'm still a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but So, and we got our electric paint for this month, so got a little sweat off of our brow there. And we have $500 set, set aside. aside. We're not touching it. Uh, that's towards getting the AC fixed. Yeah, and we've been told that because it's summer, the price has been jacked up quite a bit for that. Right, buddy? But hopefully because he's a friend of a friend and he gave us an, a rough estimate a while back, he'll uh, kind of stick to that for us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but we always have the option of going and buying a couple of windowed air conditioners and trying to do it that way. Well, there's the one that's on wheels and it just has an exhaust pipe that you put into a window. Yeah. And I went and priced those the other day at Home Depot and you can get like a 15,000 BTU system for a little over $300. And uh, right now to repair our, our uh, house air conditioning is uh, going to be about a thousand so this little one is not clean cooling this room down no but if worse comes to worse we can get the larger floor air conditioner put the little one back up into Megan's uh, bedroom so that she has um, how cooler. where are we going to put it in her bedroom because well, she's going to have the other bedroom there's no windows I'll figure something out I'll create a doorway thing of some sort. Right? Right? Yeah, because there's no windows in that room. There's only the doors yeah. to the deck. So that's today. And uh, this morning I am going to be uh, seeing if I can start laying down some flooring. And I'm coloring a mermaid and watching King Kong. <laughs> and uh, I'll probably take a nap because I've been up and down all night. And yeah. All right. So I'll see you in front. something to white or uh, wrap the bodies up in when mm -hmm. need to be good. just pick the yeah, floor up, roll them up, up tie them up buy more of that and put more down yeah like, I'll have to think about it all right I've got all this wood flooring to go down so before I put the wood flooring down I have to create um, a um, something to keep it a quarter inch away from the wall so I got to cut some strips of quarter inch wood and uh, I have to set up my saw outside. Your saw? My saw. Not a seesaw? No. So I need to do that and then I can start gluing these together. Okay. 
Okay? Have fun. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm ready to start put flooring down. I have my vapor barrier, or at least the beginning of my vapor barrier. I don't want to put it all out yet because of I'm going to be moving stuff around. So I will start in this corner and I will work all the way this direction. Floor needs to be flat, clean, and dry. The wood I'm using is a hickory made by Bruce. It's a beautiful hand carved, hand scraped wood. It's about three eighths of an inch thick. It's tongue and groove. It is not snapped together, so it's going to be glued together. So I'm going to sacrifice one piece of wood here as a, um, a three eighths of an inch gap from the wall to give the wood the ability to expand. That's very important because if the wood floor gets wet or it's humid, this thing will, will uh, move and if it's up against the wall, it'll buckle right in the middle. So you have to give it somewhere to go. So that gap is going to be covered by the baseboard. So here's my tools that I have most of which I'm not going to need because this is not a snap together. Um, I have a couple of things for banging the pieces together without marring the wood. It's made out of plastic. I've got a, a rubber mallet. Um, I have a, a pull bar, which I'm probably not going to need. The most important thing is my glue, which is a 1406 tongue and groove adhesive and painter's tape. Very important for this kind of application. Because as soon as I put the wood down and put the glue in, the glue is going to make the wood expand and the seam will pop apart. And if you don't tape them together, you're going to have a permanent, permanent gap. So once you've uh, got a section done, uh, strap it down with uh, some painter's tape. I, it should be all it needs. I do ever have a strap down for uh, wood flooring, but I don't think I'm going to need it. So, got all my wood laid out. I've got short pieces. Um, needs to be staggered, like you see. Should never be, I would say, no closer than eight inches to the next uh, seam. Uh, you want it to look uh, uniform and staggered. More, it's, more it uh, is staggered, stronger it's going to be. Now I'm going to cut this board up for spacers and then I'll get to gluing. So there's my start. Uh, it's 82 degrees in here. I'm running out of energy. Um, had to tape these up pretty quickly. Stay up. They do spread out pretty quick. And I need to check a couple of them just to make sure. I'm going to let these dry. And then uh, I will finish the plastic. All right, I'm going to check my gaps and call it a day for this. I'm sweating like a pig. I, uh, I don't want to do any more today because the seams are coming apart quickly. I was warned about this, this particular type of application, because they're, they're not clicked together. The last floor I did was the, a click together type and you didn't have to use glue. This, the glue, wants to separate as soon as you put it in. Could it be because it's so hot? Uh, no, it's just because it's wood mm -hmm. and the, the and the wood is going to swell and the glue is going to be slippery and so it just slips out so you have to tape it all together like this and uh, I thought I was just going to go from one end to the other and just move this way but I think it's going to be better if I 
just start at one end of the room and just work my way to the other. Yeah, I think so, so too. So that's, uh, this is all I'm going to do because I'm sweating to death and I have sweat in my eyes and they're stinging. I got my fan back up and working at least, but uh, it's 82 degrees in here and uh, I'm a dying. It's already 3.30, but um, it's, it's going to look nice when it's done. Yep.